Hey you guys, it's Nick, and today I'm going to be talking about wanting to make a bonsai. Now before I get started, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt, then go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now, moving on to the topic at hand. So, you know, growing your own bonsai need not start by being expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive. Plants are free if grown from seed or cuttings and the rewards to be had in terms of appreciation of the final result and the experience gained is a joy beyond compare. Creating a bonsai is a fairly simple procedure if you follow the necessary steps for growing and shaping the selected tree. It's also important to select a tree from, uh, for the climatic conditions in your region. as Some trees will thrive in certain regions while others may not survive. After deciding on the desired bonsai material, the next step is to prepare the appropriate size pot. A pot that's not too small, or, or uh, rather a pot that is too small or a pot that is too large can hamper the growth of the bonsai. In addition, the pot should have an outlet or an opening at the bottom to allow water to drain freely. The amount and type of soil is also an important consideration, usually a mixture of organic and inorganic compounds. To allow for proper placement in its container, you may have to cut some of its roots. By reducing the massive roots in the pot, pruning provides space for young, vigorous roots to grow and absorb water and minerals. Remember, it is the trimming of the roots while confining the tree to a shallow container that keeps the tree miniaturized, or rather keeps it a bonsai. After setting the tree in its container, pruning the leaves, trimming new shoots, and wiring the branches into an aesthetically pleasing form, uh, there are six classical bonsai styles and a growing list of non-classical styles as bonsai art involves new cultures and new species. Aesthetics, however, is not an end in itself, but is linked to the physiology and good health of the bonsai. Once you have proudly completed your work of art, you should become familiar with the basic rules for maintaining your tree in good health so that it can reward you with many years of pleasure. Method and frequency of watering, lighting requirements, trimming, repotting, prevention of diseases and insects, and plant fertilization are just a few topics with which you should become familiar. There are numerous books on the subject of the bonsai which can provide step-by-step -step instructions on these subjects such as my bonsai ebook which you can find at bonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. So, that's all for this video. I hope that it helps you in some way, shape, or form. I'll be making dozens more videos, so make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.